With the end of season two, we go right into season three. A new opponent faction has been made. The Chaos Brigade. Ow. Three didn't show up near the end of the last season. Three is still alive because Valley, Valley bailed him out. And who is part of the Chaos Brigade? Valley has. Could you imagine? If Freed comes back, my man Free survives fucking two seasons, makes it into the Chaos Brigade. I'm gonna fucking lose it if he does. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Who? Who? Who are you? You Yuma? Wait, 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 we already, we already, we already beat her in season one. Raniel or something, Yuma, right? No, you, you did kill him. Oh my god. Oh my god, that outfit though. All the girls are sleeping at our place still, right? It's only Rias and Nash. Yeah. Oh, get up! <laughs> Why are you arising from the Gog Gog location? I wouldn't know. You're a 2D character, but yes, it feels amazing. Something about the cheating nature, the the affair. That's Akira. It's actually so good. And Rias. You can't play the soundtrack in this moment. It is such a serious soundtrack. <laughs> oh. But these feathers dropping like that is like angel feathers. Yeah, we remodeled the. This is a, a mansion now. It's a six story tower now. Three basement levels. Rias's dad. I mean, they did come hang out last season, but... And I was wondering, how are we going to have enough room for the extra girls to stay? Yo, maybe the real winners of this show are Issei's parents. They're much more lovey-dovey now. Bedroom, what the... Uh, that's a healthy marriage. <laughs> no, that's actually like a healthy marriage if they're still attracted to each other like that. Uh, don't forget about Akeno. Something about that felt a little distant. Something felt that... Ah, she said all the right things, but it felt a little distant. And with this soundtrack playing now... Is this going back to remember after visiting Akino's place? But we don't call her Rias. We call her Bucho. We are the farthest away from her. Pawn King. We're going back to that theme again. <laughs> Uh, can we consider her a girlfriend, though? We kind of went on a date. That's it. Why are we getting Yuma haunting us again, though? Yeah, forget about Yuma. You got Gasper, man. And you got her key lovers. <laughs> Kiba, too. <laughs> First time what? Stay home and eat snacks. Koneko just eats snacks. Why are you looking so sad, Koneko? Koneko, what? What? Hmm. What? All alone? No, you still have Akino, Asia, Zenobia. You got everyone still here. That sounds a little bit terrifying if you see all of eternity. Forever and ever and ever. Oh, we're all going. Oh, everyone's going. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Go to the underworld while I'm alive. True. Honestly, true. Kinky, huh? Ooh, a little naughty, naughty. I forgot he's here. <laughs> when was he? Well, I, I didn't see him here before, but he does, you know. He's on the card. What is he? He's like a teacher now. Underworld, tr we take a train? Okay. Interdimensional train. Cool. Konako, what's up? Konako, you're not even eating your snacks recently. What's going on? Konako's looking very sad. Maybe it's a Konako arc. Mm. Of all the characters, we haven't had Konako arc yet, right? Hmm? Oh, Saji in there. Yo, remember, Saji, remember, um, Azazel going, uh, uh, what's it called? Balance break last season and near the end? He had a Dragon King. Saji can also Dragon King balance break then, right? Is this a training arc? You know what, like, you might need to take him seriously. If he actually learns how to balance break and turns into that Gundam suit armor that Azazel also wore? I don't know, man. Ew. What is this crap? <laughs> Koneko, still so quiet, not doing anything. Oh. Ara, ara, ususu. 
This is the un. This is just. This Gremory estate. Uh, I now understand why dad could just buy us a mansion. I see. I see. Hmm, Asazel and Ria's coming out of a dark room together like this. My imaginations run wild. Right. We need more mythology because we need more factions, right? Right? Exactly. Son Goku. Because, like, we're, we've run out of fallen angels, gods, fallen, uh, fallen angels, go angels, and uh, devils. We'll run out of three. We need more factions to get involved so that it's more opponents. Hmm. And maybe even freed. Huh? Uh, Issei just got yoinked out of the train and. Everybody got yoinked. Immediate battle? What, what, what are we doing? Big spooky monster. But... Oh, natural dra- Oh, Jesus, Koneko. Jesus. I thought you were feeling bad today, Koneko. Who's next? Uh, more Koneko. Maybe this is a Koneko arc, man. Durandal? Holy demonic sword already? Koneko punch? Oh! She's bleeding out her head. <laughs> no one caught her eye. She should be fine, but that looked pretty rough. Yo, Gasper, time control. Stop time. Oh, the vice president is in charge. Yo, she's a pretty good leader. Durandal. It's a sword that should be able to cut anything in existence. Isn't that the lore of Durandal? Why is it not able to cut this? Koniko, what's going on? If this is Koniko's arc, does this imply that Koniko, uh, what's it called? Koniko's like part of a different faction here in different mythologies? Yo, it feels like. We've gotten so much stronger over the last two seasons, but now all of a sudden it's a different. Like we just got power creeped all already. Resonating because it's a dragon as well. Yes, Casper, you're a man. You're a man. Say it. <laughs> They're really gonna say this every time. I thought that one time we heard it was like a special thing, but it's like Gasper's running gag. It, 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 it's honestly too powerful. It's not enough, is it? Dude, are we that weak or what? what is this shit? Uh-oh. Azazel! It listened. Is that a test? Was that a test from Azazel? What do what you, what you... Are you telling me this is your... Drag... Okay. Who are you? Tanin. Probably one of the five dragon kings, right? Dr Devil's dra Saint! Dragon Saint! Used to be a king! I... Okay, but, but used to be a king. One of the five. A devil dragon. I... This show just cross mixes all these different factions and groups, and it's all over the. Now the dragon's a devil, a devil dragon. Governor? Governor? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck was that? Yo, did you see Koneko? Koneko? <laughs> because of this, Koneko got her head bashed and she's bleeding out her fucking skull. But I guess this is kind of. Telling us we need to get stronger. Koniko got so fucked up. How are you gonna train us by scaring us like this? You're a fallen angel too. This is true. Drag new the entire time. That's the problem. A thousandth of his power. Like, didn't even use it. Like, what the fuck are we then? The, 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 the power scaling just got ridiculous. And... Hot spring, bassine. Oh, yeah. You're a man. That's right, Gasper. You're a man. It's the most masculine body I've ever seen in my life. And that's the thing! 
saying, the fact that they keep hiding Gasper's nipples. Now, I'm not saying I want to look at a Gasper's nipples, but the fact that they keep hiding it and they, they just censor it, it really makes it that much more erotic. It's like the show saying, hey, you know, I know he's a boy, but the fact that we keep hiding it like that, doesn't it make you a little bit more, it's for the imagination? Then again, they don't really show nipples here, right? They're just, where is Azazel? No, nowhere. Same with these face. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Yes, every night, every night. <laughs> yes. Probably, but I forgot. <laughs> you fucking noob. You've never poked a titty before. <laughs> you must shove, not tap. Sinks into her breast. Guys, are you listening? <laughs> it's the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> sound? The girl moaning? <laughs> what? A oh my god. What a teacher, man. What a teacher. He's really just teaching us all about life. But we never pressed. They're doorbells, after all. <laughs> yes, he said. <laughs> Why is this sound check playing right now? What are we even talking about? I think Issei's respect for Asusa grew 10,000 fold. <laughs> they're listening the entire time, right? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Especially when it's about titties. Yeah, Konako felt like she just went in. She hasn't been eating her snacks. And of all the characters, we haven't had a Konako arc yet. Sun Wukong and... Oh my god. That's not Ophis, right? Uh, I don't think that's Ophis. That's a different girl? Now, could you imagine if Freed is here somewhere? Yo, Freed, are you in this hideout? Loki. Kuroka. Ophis? Vali? Meow? We got a cat girl. Oh! Koniko's big sister! Oh! oh my god, it was Koniko's big sister. Oh! Well, I wanted Free to be in one of the Chaos Brigade members. And maybe there's still hope, maybe there isn't. I don't know, maybe I'm just talking to my ass. But Koniko's big sister is actually a cat girl. That's his Nia at the end. Ooh, this is going to be good. We haven't had a Koniko arc yet in Season 3. They're actually saving our token lolly until Season 3. That's nice. Now, Azazel calling nipples, doorbells, the fucking dramatic soundtrack playing. Issei realizing that his worldview is shattered, that he has more to learn. That running gag still goes fun, but I think the best running gag so far, we've only heard it twice, is when Gasper's about to fight. And he says, I'm a man! And I'm like, yes, you are. Yes, you are. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.